Good. All right. This one has all the waxes. This was a new one I got. Uh, buttermilk Baby Bee. Buttermilk Vanilla. This is the one I finally got from... Um, I'll put it down below. Diamond Drills USA. I got some purple wax, some yellow wax, and white wax from Diamond Drills USA, just the sample packs. I got a whole bunch more to put in. If you haven't been to my Etsy shop, I have a little wax container that I put I have some snowflakes, and then I put some blue wax in, and I put peppermint in the top. I put a little piece of felt with peppermint in the top, and so it smells like a candy cane when you open them up. I have crystal ones, and the regular drill ones. They're shiny, they're pretty, and they are cover minders. They're on magnets, so you can always have your your wax right up near your your piece. These are just extra heart waxes, the blue heart and red heart wax that you get. And hang on. Okay. This is from, I have some 3D trays, 3D printed trays. And these are stoppers for the bottom so that your drills don't fall out while you're using them. This is bananas. These smell so good. I love the smell of these bananas. It's wax. <laughs> these are samples of another wax that I got. And I have an orange sample too. Not that I remember where I got them or what I got them. What kind they are. I have a battery in here. Not just for the the battery powered drills, but I have batteries in there for, oh, I put them in my mouse <laughs> and channel changer because they're right next to my, right next to everything here. What do I have in here? Probably a cover minder. Yeah, I'll show you all the cover minders at the same time. Move them to the side here. <clears throat> you didn't see them, did ya? Here's another tweezers. I decided to put them in here, didn't I? All right. I cut. When I'm filling up the little stack of trays over there, you cut one piece of a squishy apart and you can stopper up your trays with them. I love doing that. That's all purple. I have all blue and another one. This is from these are chunks from a handmade designer. Let's see. Moonstar Wax. And her Etsy shop is I'm not sure. But it's Moonstar Wax with two X's. That's her shop. That's one of the places I got the harder wax on. Put it all in here. So, even though these aren't from Moonstar, I'll put them in here anyway. They don't jump around. Three scented from. Oh my goodness. I need a magnifying glass to read this. <laughs> Three different scents. This one is Cupcake. Ooh, I haven't used these yet. And Lavender. Mmm. I didn't get them too long ago either. Mm. And Chevre Tool. 
whenever that is. It smells good anyway. These three are going to go back in their little baggie. Got these off of Etsy. All these fancy waxes I got off of Etsy. <clears throat> this is from Excuse Me Designs, and it's Mermaid. Nice, bright scent. Another Excuse Me Designs, and this is a green apple. Ooh, nice. Some more of the pink heart wax. Not that I need it. Maybe they won't fit in this little container after all. Little baggy. Yeah, they're all right. No fit. More of the putties. These two are in Jewel, and they come from Spell Queen. They are the regular pink wax, and there are a whole stack of them in there. But these are really pretty containers. Two from Spell Queen. These don't have a name, but they are the regular round pink discs. They probably came in another kit. And here's a small pink, purple, uh, bleh, blue, a small blue macaroon with just plain pink waxes in it. Okay. Go back together, please. In here, also, I have a brush and it has like a hand thing on the end of it. That kind of helps clean out the... It's to clean out your tray. If you just want a couple rows at a time to move down or whatever, or you can brush them down. It helps keep the static away as, you're, as they fall down. Now, don't know why that's in there. This was a glue pen that never worked for me. It's a Tombow glue pen. It's regular, clear, like gel glue. It was supposed to come out of the tip. It was supposed to be there to, like, glue paper down to paper for my other crafts, and it never really worked. But for some reason, I don't want to get rid of it. This is a ceramic blade. When you want to cut the paper off of the top of a painting, if either way, if you want the plastic, if you have a, um, a poured glue, you have plastic over it, you want to cut that, you can use this. If you have the paper over it for double-sided tape, you can use that. This is a ceramic pen cutter. It won't hurt you. All right, I have that in here. Um, this is Quake Hold Museum Putty. It's white putty. Just like the blue putty, you pick off a piece and stick it in the end of your pen. I didn't have as much luck with this as some do. But I'm going to keep it in here just in case I want to try it again sometime. This top one might have wax also. It might... I have a lime pretty placer that I like to use as well. Mm, it smells so fresh and clean. Love it. So since this is a wax pen, I'm going to put this with the other wax pens in here. All right, now I want to put all the waxes back and then I'll show you my cover minders. Okay. All right. Now, cover minders. I have a W, one of the first ones I got. Let me telephoto you in. This is a pretty one. There's a little pearl in the middle. Some I got from Carol's Creations. Hi, Carol. She follows my channel. I love using her cover minders. They're, these are, they're like mod, like 70s flowers. This bohemian chick could not resist. Another two from Carol's that I have trouble keeping apart are two um, flowers. She uses very strong magnets on the back. 
and they love to stick to each other. <laughs> so there's two are from Carol's. Put them in here. Now come on, stay apart. Come on. I don't like to stay apart. I had to get pick up some elephants. Yep. Please don't ask me where I got them from. <laughs> Other than Carol's, I really can't remember. I think I might have gotten these at Carol's too. I'm not sure. They're, <sighs> They're roses. If, aren't they beautiful? I'll use them again in the spring. This one is a crystal. And it sits like that on the painting, which I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I like the way that sits that much. You do, you can sit like that. And right now, you know what? I'll use one of my snowflakes too. With the blue wax in. Alright. These two are those little teardroppy things. <laughs> Cute little teardrops. I think I got those in craftably kits. And I got a little ladybug because ladybugs are good luck. At least in the Dutchy community they are. And here I got this one when I ordered from uh, this matches the painting that I'll be doing from there. A little tail on it. So that's a special one. <clears throat> like came in this little baggie. All right, so I have all these fancy dancy things that I can use as we go on. Oh, come on now, stop it. All right, here we go. That's really difficult because now it's like pulling the. <sighs> it pulled one off another one. Was it this one? Yep, it pulled one off of that one. These are really strong magnets and they're, they're like pulling on each other. Well, what do I expect them to do, right? That's what they're supposed to do. Alright. If you want to know where I got the, the disc on my cover minders that I have for sale on my site, I have these discs that that stick underneath. I like a flat disc underneath my canvas. So I have these big flat discs underneath there, and you just one magnet on here. I will mail one of the, if you order uh, cover minders from me, I will add a plate as well as an extra magnet. So you could either use two magnets or you can use one magnet and the plate. So if you order cover minders from me, you'll get the, you'll get a plate with it as well. There, that goes. All right, and the last drawer. Okay, I was showing you have little brass tips, squishies. I have the fat fours and the skinny fours. I, I like to use the tweezers to clean out the old wax in it. I should have done that before I put a lot of them away. This is a nail kit. It has scissors and um, a nail file and a clippers. And a little tweezers in there. I don't use the tweezers that way, but that's in there at the top. This is another pair of tweezers that are nice enough. They came with some of the cheaper kits, but they're nice enough to use. More little tips. I recently got gold multi-placers. They're not real gold, of course. 
but I don't really know. It just plated, colored. I got them off of, um, like, AliExpress. So they're in there for some fun. Oh, this is a sample of the Super Sticky Wax in a little flower. That goes in there. Let's see. Orange squishy for some reason. These are plastic tips. Again, they are great for doing for doing the gems and this is a four placer my favorite this is a seven placer that goes kind of goes in the middle of things another few tweezers this one's a round tip on it straightener these I got when I got the 3d this is from my 3d designs it's a little trash tray. I use it for trash tray. Put the trash drills in it. You know what? I could put a magnet on the bottom of this and use this as a cover minder too. I will do that. This is another 3D design and it has a, like a gem lid to it. And again, I have these for trash. There's only one drill in there. <laughs> I wouldn't need that. But I can put a magnet on the bottom of that and use that for a trasher. See, I do mine on an art easel. And if I don't have these things as cover minders, they all slide down and, you know, they're, they're all in the way next to my tummy. I had two blank ones. Um, I think the one was from Diamond Dots. Two empty ones. These are I use for trash. One I put special drills in. And one I just put whatever I find in it. So that can stay here. <laughs> one of the rings I like to wear when I'm filming. Ta -da. <clears throat> this was a paint gem pen with um, the big diamond on it. And I liked it, but you can. it still acts like a pen you know you can twist it out but you can only twist the nib out so far and it's too short way too short to use so that's just pretty take it out of there and stick it in my utensils okay I have a spoon if you want to take some a whole bunch of drills out of something you can use it with a spoon with it if you want. The other pick-me-up pen, the ladybug one that I got from a different site. This is, it comes in one end. I had one with the ladybug on it too. But this goes in this end. And it has a pointy tip on one side and a little bit of a flatter tip on the other side. These are good for pushers. They push your drills around if you need them. But they're too long to fit in the drawer that way, so I keep them separate. Plus, they're drill pens. Oh, come on. All right. This is the first one of the first drill pens I bought. And this is a waxy end. If you don't know what these ends are for, this is a waxy end that you can use for special drills. And they really work. I heard somebody, you know, said that they don't like them and they throw them away. It's like, ah, oh, throw them this way. This one, if you'll notice, different than the brass tip, this one has a skinnier end on it. That can be an advantage and a disadvantage. Okay. <clears throat> I use it sometimes with the skinnier end on it. I don't know if I have to be in the mood for something different. Oh, that's right. This one came with the rounded edge ones. I like the rocker arm. I got some of the red 3D printed rocker arms. I'm using two on something else I'm using already. That's a long one, but it's a rocker arm. And I save them 
like when you, you get the kits with the extras, I save them. There were some clear ones that I had gotten, and they're thicker walled. The clear ones next to the white ones here, they are thicker walled, and they don't get the diamonds as close, the square ones, the diamonds as close as I want them. I like them because they're see-through, but, you know, I don't like them as much because they keep them apart. And I, I think that's probably... Here. They're probably better for rounds because they can stay apart a little bit more than the squares can. So they're in there for just in case. Here's in the front. This is just a mouse toggle. <laughs> that in there. I'm going to put the, the single brass tips in here. Putting the red one. And the goldish ones are in there. And the large placers in here. And I'm not going to be picky. I'm going to put the seven placers in here as well. All right. These are all the straighteners. Small and large straighteners. I don't really think I need to keep all of these tweezers, do I? I have a hard time giving a, get, getting rid of them. They do such a good job. Except for the silver ones. They're like next to... Next to not needed. There's this one. just haven't used it. Ones. Don't need them. Come back here. And I have another little baggie that I will use. This is another gate. Put that in there. I use this for the two placers. I don't need those as much as I need the others. What happens to them as you use them, especially this, the thinner walled ones is they get like the edges get real mussed up I have a, well I have one over here that I threw over here right yeah okay, I'm gonna bring it in really close and see if I can show this to you the edges get wavy instead of flat so they have a harder time picking up and placing the diamonds. What I like to do when that happens is take a nail file over it and it takes the top the wavy edge off and makes it flat again. And you can feel with your finger that it's flat again. So you can use it a number of times. There you go. Flat again. So I will use that again. There comes a time when you just have exhausted the amount of times you can um, use the sharpener, use the um, nail file on it. There comes a time when that won't work anymore. just throw it out. All right, these are the single placers, the the, um, the tips for 
gems. Mm -hmm. the bag of tips for the gems. This is a, a curved one, but I'm going to put it in here because it is plastic. Come on, you. Ta da! Okay. And. Two diamond painting Deutschland ones. Since they're different, I'm going to put them in there. This one is different. The pick me up pen. Where's the other one, ladybug one I have? Yeah, put the two, the two pick me up pens in here. And the two other pens. Those pens in here. I need my nail file. I put that upside down so it doesn't get stuck. <laughs> I need my sinus meds in the back here and my barrettes. Ta da! So now I have my drawers that work, that are cleaned out. You've seen my pen collection basically, the plastic bags the trays, the labels, the placers, the multi-placers, the waxes, and if the drawers behave, <laughs> oh, waxes and cover minders, if the drawers behave, they will stay that way for a while. <laughs> yeah. So, that's that. Thank you for sticking with me, to sticking through it, to see what is next to my chair. I wish I could figure out something to put the glue in, but it's going to sit on top just like the pencil case. Right, thanks for having around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to sign up for the, uh, the contest, the giveaway contest. Look down in the description box for member questionnaire. Make sure you're subscribed. Click on that questionnaire. It'll take you to a Google Doc. Fill out the information on there. Email it back to me at wandasworkbasket at gmail.com. And I will send you a thank you back. And you'll know that you have been entered in, you know, I have your entry. So you can win uh, one of the monthly giveaways that will come up as soon as I reach 1,000 subscribers. So I'm glad you're here. I hope this has helped you, give you some ideas as to how you can store things next to you in nice, neat style. So, all right. Have a wonderful, a wonderful weekend, a wonderful day, whatever's coming up. God bless. Bye.